I ghosted my ex and now she's about to be my new boss. This is OKOP, the home of the craziest stories on earth. I'm Sam and Sophia. John, what should OP do? Double down. How do you double down? Hey, Shardy, you my boss and my girl now. Can I get a raise? <laughs> All right, well, let's get into it. This is from a manager blog. So I was hoping you'd be able to help me with the conundrum I got myself into. I've been an expat since graduating and I move around a lot. More than a decade ago, when I was still young, I was in a relationship with a woman, Sylvia, in a country where we both lived. Sylvia wanted to settle down, but I was not ready to commit so young. Man's a young buck. We clearly had different expectations from the relationship. I did not know what to do. And well, I ghosted her. Oh. Dang. What? Immature, but he's young. That's immature. He's young. How old is he again? He's young and dumb. He is young in a country where they both live. <laughs> that's nice. all we know, John. That's all we know. I don't know. I think that's not cool. I also think it's not cool. Yeah. Same. Good. Because <laughs> he's not that young. He graduated. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but we don't know if he graduated middle school high or school. <laughs> <laughs> above 18. But yeah. yeah, it's got to be above it because yeah. he's an expat. Anyway, well, you could be an, an expat just means you no well, longer. Moved away. Uh, I know. Yeah, but you could. Uh, we moved away when we were children. We were technically expats in Australia for like at eight. six months. Yeah, but we were expats in Australia at eight. I got wow. I think <laughs> he has graduated something and he's above 10. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Anyway, over the Christmas break, while she was visiting her family, I simply moved out and left the country. He super ghosted her. Damn. <laughs> I took advantage of the fact that I accepted a job in another country and did not tell her about it. I simply wanted to avoid being untangled in a breakup drama. Sylvia was rather emotional and became obsessed with the relationship, tracking me down, even causing various scenes with my friends and family, with my parents and friends. Oh my God. Sounds like Sylvia is kind of immature too. What? <laughs> okay. This guy just like, we don't know how long the relationship was. I know, but. If it was like, let's say it was a year and he literally just vanishes and she's like, what? What? Hello? Uh, like, she's like, did he die? Let me call up his parents. That is true. She I've could be worried juicy, about yeah, she could okay. be just story time. Worried. I've that got a true. juicy, juicy okay story time after the story. Get ready. I feel like he could have avoided all of this with like at least a just text. Said, yeah. Literally. Hey, leaving. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Don't want to see you anymore. Okay, yeah. bye. Still a text. Yeah, still yeah. horrible, at least, but like at least, at least she thinks you're not dead. Yeah. Yeah. Although that's what the kidnapper murderers would want you to think. Yeah. That's not what they in would a say. band. You could send a Snapchat. That's what I did. Mm. <laughs> What? Two fingers up. Okay, story time. We're saving that. Anyway, fast forward to now. I now work as a math teacher in an international school. I have been in other relationships since, so Sylvia is sort of a forgotten memory. <laughs> Jesus. What a guy. Damn. Whoa. Did you also ghost your other relationships? We'll find out. Sadly, till now. Oh, I sort of, sort of forgotten history, sadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until now. We're about to learn something about Sylvia. This week, I learned that our fantastic school director suddenly resigned due to a serious family situation and had to move back to her home country over the summer. The school had to replace her. We were getting a new director. I read the bio of the new boss and Googled her and was shocked to discover it is Sylvia. Oh my God. Karma. In a different country. In a different country. Karma. Wow. Okay. Has she been tracking him this whole time? <laughs> I mean, honestly, maybe seems I could on see the it. table. <laughs> we have not been in touch and do not have any mutual friends anymore. I'm not a big fan of social media and had no idea what she had been up to since the unpleasant situation a long time ago. That you caused. That, yeah, he did cause that. Ooh. You caused that. I have no idea what to do and how to deal with this mess. Maybe being more communicative. Yeah, OP. maybe just telling, breaking up with people with your words. Yeah. Your big boy words. You can't do words, Sophie. You can only do math. Only <laughs> symbols. <laughs> symbols. <laughs> you, me, minus, minus you, yeah. equals me happy. It is clear this will not be only embarrassing, but I will also be reporting to my ex. I am not in a position to find another job at present. Yeah. Because he's immature and doesn't yeah. know how to sucks. handle no. a job. If OP had, like, the pos was in a position to find another job, I feel like it's in their real house that they would just leave. Like, they don't seem like the yeah. person. I mean, and he would leave the school without saying a yeah. word. <laughs> he wouldn't tell anyone. He would ghost the school. Yeah. He's got to stay on brand. Well, he can't he can't stay on brand. Yeah. There are no other international schools, so finding another job in this country is not an option. Even finding a job elsewhere is not possible on such short notice. These jobs usually open up for school terms, so I have to stay put for a few months. But more importantly, I am happy and settled here, so I do not want to move. To make the situation worse, the expat community here is very small and tightly knit, so teachers also socialize a lot. Do you have any suggestions for me on how to handle handle 
handle it and what should I do? I understand that this would not have happened if I did not ghost her back then, but I cannot do anything about that now. I gathered from the commenters that readers usually have a go on people like me for bad behavior, but I am really looking for constructive comments on how to deal with the situation. Additional comment from OP when asked how long they were together. Oh, we were together for three years. Oh. And lived together for two of those oh. years. Oh. Oh my God. I know that ghosting is not a way to end the relationship, but I cannot do much about that now. I appreciate the trouble you are taking with getting back to me. Oh and my God. And there is a thick, juicy update. Oh my God. That but changes everything. Sophia. I called it. John, any advice for this poor ghost? Apologize now. Yeah, yeah. Apologize now. Say like, sorry, that was a horrible thing I did. Written Three letter. Three-year relationship. Directly to her. And he's like, wow, she kept trying to like call my family because she didn't hear back from me. Like that was crazy of her. Three-year relationship. They were probably paying rent together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. They were living together and he just vanished. And, uh, and that she's is probably pretty like, is he okay? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What happened? Yeah. This is well, like, I was expecting like, oh, I went to Bali for the summer and we had I a met fling. This girl and then and yeah, I that's what I her. thought initially. Like, cause no. like who goes someone after, after three, three years, years and living together? That's absolute insane. I don't care how young you are. You can't do that. And he's living on his own or with the person. So he's got to be over 18. Yeah. Okay. So I think we've established that he and probably graduated college. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He's the hardest working 10 year old in the <laughs> game. Excuse me. Now, 13-year-old now. Yeah, yeah, 13. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah wow. that is so terrible. So horrible. But yeah, let's get into this update. Apologize oh. now is my advice. Update. So those who blame me for ruining Sylvia's life for good were wrong. She has done very well for herself. She is married with kids and her husband is originally from here. They relocated because of his business opportunity, not because she would be stalking me or would orchestrate this in some elaborate vendetta. That's crazy. Yeah, Thank I God. don't. Honestly, I never thought she would. I was always on your side, Sylvia. Yeah. But wouldn't that be fun? That would be crazy. Ultimate nuclear revenge. Yeah, ultimate nuclear revenge. I tracked you down and got hired and as your boss, your boss just to fire you <laughs> without Incredible. any cause. It is a crazy coincidence, but as some readers pointed out, our professional world can be very small. I immediately reached out to Sylvia along the lines of your kind of advice and also offered to discuss the way forward in person. Here, I appreciated many useful comments from your readers on what to write. She did not get back to me. I was not sure she was still using her old email. And with the return to school day fast approaching, I resent the email to her new work email. I also dropped a short message to the HR without providing full details. Next morning, Sunday, I got a call from the chair of our board of overseers asking me to meet him as soon as possible. Ooh. Ooh. That don't sound so good. Yeah. Someone's going to the principal's <laughs> office. I met with him together with Sylvia the same day. As you can imagine, this meeting was incredibly embarrassing for me personally and professionally. Fortunately, unlike some of your readers hope, they did not think the past failed relationship was a sackable offense. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, yeah, that makes would be kind of yeah crazy. At the end, there was not that much interaction between the director and the employees on a daily basis. The chair was more worried that possible gossip and related implications for the organization. Ours is an expensive enterprise. This is a conservative place, and nobody wants a scandal. At the same time, they considered it was necessary, as they framed it, to put some measures in place to avoid possible problems in the future. I was told in no uncertain terms that although the schedule for the year was already set, it was far more. More difficult to replace the director than employ me. Ooh. Oh my God. They let him know. Damn. I do not want to go into too much details, but I found that proposed measures rather excessive. It would make my position unattainable even in a short run. So therefore, I resigned on the spot. <gasps> Whoa. So basically, it seems like they made his job so hard and undoable that he had to quit. Oh. Wow. Well, it's 4D chess going on over here. Uh, my resignation was later accepted. In a summary, as many of those self-righteous people on the internet hoped, I came out of this with no job, no severance, and no prospect for another job in this city. Whoa. I mean, why not write it out until you get fired to get a severance? Yeah. Like, yeah. Just yeah. from a self, like a selfish... Especially if, like, I mean, you can't, you can't get another job if anyway. If he has no job yeah. prospects, I don't know. Obviously, I have to leave as I need to make a 
living. I will be shortly moving back home for several months to work as a substitute teacher with an agency, and I will see what to do next later. So I had my comeuppance. I am most certainly not asking for pity. I only wish there were not other individuals bearing the brunt of my immaturity in the past. My partner cannot join me due to visa issues and family situations. So he has to split up from his partner too. He loses his job, has to go back to his home country, and he can't see his partner in person. The tragic irony wow. yeah. of this situation. Yeah. Like, he sucks for the Sylvia stuff, but this, this is really hard. This is, yeah, this That's is tough. This is yeah. Rough. yeah. Some people asked about how Sylvia seemed and what were the measures the organization wanted to put in place. So we're going to get some context on that right now. I do not know how it was for Sylvia. I have not seen her since. She seemed fine. She was not gleeful, very matter of fact, saying it was possible to work together, etc. The chair did most of the talking. I found out later that her husband comes from a prominent family here. Everyone knows them. So it sounds like she... She got some strings to pull, yeah. Nepotism is prevalent in this culture and family status really matters. Oh, so now he's saying that Sylvia didn't even deserve the job? I feel like that's kind of what he's implying. I thought he was implying that she's kind of pulling the strings that got the board to make yeah. it hard oh, for him. I think that, I was like, but I think so he rude. may be also implying that yes. it was Both maybe. nepotism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. The chair knows. Red flag or green flag, he kills every plant that he's ever owned. You know, that's a big old red flag because we love green plant daddies, but you know what we love even freaking more, Sam? What do we love even more, John? Getting the limited red flag, green flag merch on OKOP.show. Yeah, you should get one of 50 hoodies, hats, or overalls before February 9th or before supplies run out. And we're going to pick one of you that buys a merch item to be featured on the show with you both. So support the show, snag the drop before February 9th on okop.show slash shop and get it before supplies run out. Grab it. Back to the show. The chair knows them. I just do not understand why she had to get him involved. We could have tried to sort this out between us first. No need to go to the top immediately. I don't understand ironic. why you ghosted your partner of three yeah, years. You but didn't I mean, try to sort it out. Do you season? think she was doing it vindictively mm. to bring in the guy? She brought the chair in, no? Yeah. I feel like that makes sense. Yeah. I feel like you like you want a third party. He already dropped a line to HR. So that's, that's true. true. That's I true. think it's kind of 50-50, but for the chaos, I feel like she maybe maybe stoked the flames a little bit. So the measures included things like we are never to talk to each other without a third person present, all meetings documented, no discussion about her and the management with my colleagues, not even in water cooler chat, limit our interactions beyond the school, meaning no socializing for me so he couldn't go into any of the social events that he was going to oh wow i do not understand how this could work it would be very much out of character for me and my colleagues and friends would get suspicious although not presented as such it felt very punitive wow so what do you think does the punishment yeah. fit the crime no because i don't think that you should be professionally punished professionally punished. yeah Mm. However, mm. I do think what you did sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Like not cool. And this is kind of karma, but it's not fair to do it yeah. professionally. And you don't think Sylvia was like had any, like, do you think this was, she, like, might. she, might, she I don't think she was stalked him. No. Yeah, but no. do you think once she saw him, she was like, oh baby, yeah. you're going to get <laughs> what's coming. I think that's the most plausible. I think there's a chance. Yeah. Because also think if you're the director and you're working with all these like teachers and there's someone that just so so badly wrong so you. badly wrong you, yeah. you're not gonna want to no. work with them this might sound a little terrible but the fact that he was like there's not much job prospects for me and when they said like oh it's harder to find a director it means maybe he was more easily replaceable i think that's what they were that's implying. exactly what they yeah. said they yeah. said he, they yeah. said your job is replaceable yeah sure she hers yeah. isn't she could have said like it's me or him yeah and, yes. she might have. and not saying that this justifies it necessarily but i could see the board or whatever governing body being like oh we could find someone with probably the same skill set and z none of the drama yeah yeah so then they were like so i could kind of again seeing from their logic why they would make that decision too again professionally is not fair to yeah. you yeah 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 i feel most bad for his current partner yeah because yeah. they did nothing and yeah. yeah so that sucks but yeah that is why you never go because <laughs> you, you could lose your job have to go back to your country <laughs> you yeah, never 
get hired again. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's yeah. nuts. I feel bad for OP, but I also like as Sophia said, what goes around karma. What goes around it's comes a little around, bit buddy. Karma. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I want to see come around? I want to uh come around and play rock, paper, scissors, shoot with Riley to see whose okay story time goes first. Because we have my okay story time and your okay story time. You ready? I want to know if any of you guys in the comments have ever dated a superior in the workplace. That's a good one. Ooh. Or dated a junior. That sounds weird, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> a person that is not on your hierarchical organizational level. All right, ready? Yep. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it. That's you, buddy. Riley Snapchat. Okay, story time. Okay, this Riley knows my trick. Um, Go. I was low key in like a friend's dating someone. Yep. Okay. Um, dating someone. Dating yep. someone, yes. And I was looking at someone else to date. And then in order to break up with the other person, I just sent her a Snapchat. One Snapchat saying, hey, can we be friends? And then she snapped back, sure. And I directly dated the other person. That was my okay. That's how, I didn't ghost this? him, but I you're, just said that. We're exposing Riley's villain era. Riley. That is really true. In the comments below was Riley the A. Guys, y'all thought Riley was cute he thought and Riley was just wholesome. the nice guy. He thought he was wholesome. Everyone's like, we want to marry Riley. But guess what? He'll ghost you <laughs> over Snapchat. Oh, no, I met with her at brunch. We talked it over. We're good now. This I, was a young Riley. Riley. This was young Riley. Young and her Riley. are still friends. We're still oh, friends. Wow. Young okay. just graduated Riley. It's true. It was young just graduated. Riley. However, I do want to see our comment section. College. <laughs> Eviscerate Riley. On, I want to see our comment section on fire yeah, yeah. on fire say riley's villain era if <laughs> yes. you think riley is, is in it is in it riley's wearing the backwards cap it's fitting of course in persona uh-oh here we go do any of the uh the girls that you're seeing watch the show yes they do sam <laughs> <laughs> they plural they do, and we don't talk about them you know what else is plural the words in this next story i'm about to read yeah thank you what is your okay story time juicy j that's to the end what glitter strip club help me remember it Glitter Strip Club. Was it the Mexico one? That's a it's great a good line. It's I'm a good excited. Line. How you doing, Fia? What? How you doing? Ow. We'll never tell you. this next story. I'll tickle you if you don't let me go. I'm going to tickle you if you don't let me go. All right. John, hit it. And let me go. My ex abandoned me and dated my 19-year-old friend. He's... 30. Now they're engaged. What should I do? Sam and Sophia wrestle with this conundrum <laughs> that we are God. currently that facing. Wild, dude. That's wild. Yeah. Oh, so please let me go. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're hurting my throat. Let her go. No, that's what the 30 year old said to the 19 year old. All right, fine. Thank you. But without further ado, let's get into this one from Eternal Octopi. Greetings. Just found the show and I totally love it. Oh, hey. they we love you, Eternal Octopi. We yeah, totally we want you, you to be our Eternal Octopi. That's right. We'll keep you in a little aquarium. Exactly. And watch you all day. <laughs> exactly. We'll feed you ink or whatever octopuses they, they eat. squirt ink. They, they, don't they do drink squirt ink. ink. We'll record a, a documentary about you where yeah, we become where we your all friend. fall in love with you. <laughs> and it's my octopus yeah, teacher. My octopus teacher. That man fell in love with that octopus. And so did the octopus. The octopus fell in love. I, three octopus, <laughs> <laughs> fell in love with. <laughs> With 40 my mail. 40 mail <laughs> captor. Gotta love it. But this is a different octopus, this okay? Is a different this, octopus. Is, this is eternal octopi. Yeah. And I saw you guys wanted cheating stories. And well, my love life is kind of a crap show. And I have several Reddit worthy ones. Apparently, one so worthy that big protein producer Riley picked it for the wow. show. Wow. 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 We hope you're okay. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> that is, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> big protein selected it. Oh, man. That means it's pretty rough. But this one is one that would still leave me fairly red. Anonymous. So let's get into it. In my female mid 20s, a friend early 30s male ish decided that he was totally in love with me. Okay. All right. Mid 20s. But mid that's 20s, fine. That's mid fine. 20s. That's, 30s, mid 20s, 30s, that's a regular. Early 30s, yep. That's yeah. That's a regular age. That's gap. a regular. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nothing would do, but he just had to go out with me. We lived about four hours apart, but often saw each other because of a club that we were both in. We were both equestrians. <laughs> oh, horse people. Riding oh. the horses of destiny towards each other. Yeah, I thought they were going like clubbing. No, no, like, no. Like, like, equestrian the horse, horse the club. country club, the yeah. country that club. kind of club, Ooh, that kind of clubbing, yeah. that kind of club. Sophia did horses. That's that's <laughs> bad. She rode horses. <laughs> she rode horses. Sam, stop. She was an equestrian. <laughs> I was an 
equestrian. I like took a couple horseback riding classes. Yeah, you, there you go. I don't yeah. think that counts as equestrian. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Riley, why are you doing that to me? <laughs> you started. I was just saying a activity. Anyways, anyways, we get, it. we get it. He was a cool guy, <laughs> but it took me a long time and a lot of outside convincing that I should give him a chance. As in two years. If it yeah. takes you two years to convince someone to like date, at what their point? Winner. <laughs> at yeah. what point is it like infringing on your personal space? Creepy and too much. Yeah. 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 If someone's like, hey, you, when, you should date this person, and you're like, no, yeah. no, I'm like not interested. And they're like, no, you should date. And like for date two them. years, they're like, date, date them, date, date them, them, date them, yeah. date, date them. them. But what if their parents didn't raise a quitter? That's true. I hate that. If someone says no, leave it at that. But like all of the greatest love stories are like, what? Charlotte, I want to be with you forever. It's like, no, I'm married to Harriam. And then like, and then they and die. Then, then you the got end. ones like Shrek, like Lord Farquaad. And yeah, but that was an arranged marriage. That's totally different. Well, in the notebook, Whoa. bro. How about the notebook? I haven't seen the notebook. Well, it's it's irrelevant. Right. Obviously, it's a thing. Yeah, but they were into each other. That's totally different. But she was like, I could, I, I can't possibly I be with you. I think she was just shy. But she still wanted. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> How many times is too many times? Put your answers in Good the question. comments, ladies out there. Let yeah, us know. Yeah. That's right. This guy courted me for two years until I finally gave in. <laughs> if someone's giving in, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Turns out he was a pretty great boyfriend. Oh, get wrecked, Sophia. Oh, it doesn't seem like that great. <laughs> <laughs> we were both used to long distance relationships, so we made the most out of talking and texting every day and made a point of seeing each other every couple of months for multiple days. We seemed to get along very well and just seemed to click. See, Sophia, they click. We'll see. We'll they see. click. We will yeah, see. Yeah, we'll see if it ends well. Most of our mutuals thought we did extremely well together. See, Sophia, did extremely well together. Okay. And when he came to my place, which is what he did most of the time, he had no issues hanging out with both me and my best friend at the time, 19 female, who was also an equestrian and had similar interests as us. There's no red flags. What do you know? <laughs> Wait. Nah. What? There's no red Who flags. Are, what are we talking yeah, about? There's no I, foreshadowing. I don't know. Right, fine, Sophia. Maybe I don't know what's right. going on. The shadow is as big as a horse. <laughs> <laughs> That could be foreshadowed. <laughs> oh, <you> God. <laughs> what does that mean? What? No, because it's, it's a shadow so big, it could be foreshadows. Oh, okay. Oh, Come on, that's, that's clever. funny. I that's thought fun. you just meant there were four horses. No, I mean, but it also could be that because we're going apocalyptic. Yeah, the four horsemen of the end of this relationship. <laughs> oh, get Ow! right, bro. Get right. It worked on so many levels. <laughs> Anyway. Anyways, at the eight month mark in our relationship, I was looking into moving and was encouraging my significant other into moving in with me. How many times did she encourage him? <laughs> Two years. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> my new place would have enough land for both of us and both of our horses at the time, and it would reduce the need for either of us to do the long commutes. He came to talk about it and help me pack. While he was there, my friend, I'm guessing the 19 female one, was helping a local stable run a summer camp program, so she was also staying with me at the time. They had both stayed with me simultaneously before and it had never been a problem until now. <laughs> with my significant other staying in bed with me and my friends stayed on a cot. They both wanted to watch movies and my TV was in the bedroom. Oh no. Tell them Sam. What should they put in the comments? I see you. But I see you in the comments if you see where this is going. Also throw a red flag in there. Yeah, yeah. There's a red flag, there's in, there's red flags yeah. in the chat. I was moving out of my parents' place. However, I had a a regular day job unlike them. I told them it was fine if they stayed on the bed and watched so long as they left the light off and let me sleep. Wait a second. Why are you setting the mood for them? So they're <laughs> just turn off the light, light a couple wow. candles. So she's sleeping. The two of them are next to her in bed watching. This just sounds like the setup of a whole different type of story. What kind of story? A naughty one. <laughs> <laughs> this led to me being half awake when I heard... <sighs> no. <laughs> No. When I heard my boyfriend mention, you're wearing a tight bra. His hands were not on my body. And being in my PJs, I was not wearing a bra at this moment. I sat up. They were both fully clothed, but his hand was in the back of her shirt. Without no. saying a word, I left the room and walked out to the kitchen. That is the most wow. ballsy thing to do to try to hook up with your girlfriend's best 19 friend. 19 year old. While friend. you're all in the same bed. He eventually came out to me and managed to talk some crap about how I had misunderstood the situation. Her bra was too tight and it was constricting yeah. her blood flow and this I had to help her untighten it. She was going to die. Yeah. And like an idiot. 
I believed him. Puppy, no. Okay, fam. He used Sam's exact words. Yeah. Of what? What he just said. What I just said. Were you listening, John? <laughs> no. Oh, wow. That's a red flag. I am reading the story. Did you know, no, he never listens. He to never you listens. Your Why yeah, did you ever here's listen? Here's the real question. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Brew KOP fans will know. They know the about real John's questions. Real questions. It's bad. I have a problem. Cut to two weeks before the move. He still hadn't given me an answer, but had told me that he would help me move. Oh, so he hasn't said whether he's moving in or not. Two weeks up to the move. Yeah. Yikes. Which is pretty, you're short notice on move. Yeah. That's a red flag. Well, we already know this guy's a red flag. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's not like, right. I don't know if I want to be with your best friend. I need time, babe, to, yeah, be, to figure it out. out. I actually have a online, a question to all our online people, uh, a, an equestrian. Nice. I like it. Like, like a an request. Equestrian, an equestrian. Oh, yeah. Is equestrian? Anyway. anyway, how much time do you need before you move to like lock something, someone in to a place? Because like, to Two weeks before seems crazy. Lease? You have to put them on the lease, no? Yeah, how does three yeah. months sound? <laughs> I'm kind of getting a vibe of OP buying this place. If there's um, enough land for horses, I'm totally yeah. assuming here. Yeah, totally well, assuming. I, I feel like if anyone's like, oh, it had enough, if you describe anything with then. enough land, that's where I'm like, oh, wow, that's a, purchase. That's a rich, that's, yeah. a per that's a rich person, person. That's a purchase. <sighs> But a cot, like if they're so rich, why don't they have a guest bedroom? Why Maybe do they, they only have one bed where they, they can all sleep in? It yet. Maybe the cot is right next is to the bed. I think this is the original place and then they're moving into yeah, a new place. Yeah, they haven't moved into but the new land rich, place. if they were they would have been rich before the original, unless they Maybe came into some money. Maybe they're saving their money. Yeah, Sam. For the horse farm? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Something let's doesn't find add up. The math might not be mathing. Oh, oh, oh. And my friend would also help me move. 19 female. The weekend before was a competition that all three of us were going to. And so we rode together. Again, not unusual. I also love how they're riding together to the competition. <laughs> we that's, ride it, Don. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Except this time it was Bash OP weekend. Oh, I think meaning we're going to hate on Aww. OP. OP. I was like, what's that weekend? <laughs> Anything I had an opinion on was ridiculed or talked down about. Any attempts to help my boyfriend in his performance, which he normally appreciated, instead brought on anger. When I set up the tent we usually use for sleeping, he suddenly decided he was going to sleep in the truck instead after I had put the work in to get the tent up. But the most telling thing was when I pulled my friend aside and told her that if they were fooling around together, I would never forgive her. She looked both shocked and guilty and instantly hid her face behind her horse. Behind <laughs> her <laughs> horse? Clearly a clear <laughs> conscious. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, did you do it? Yes or no? Nay. Wow. Oh, Bessie really needs a needs a needs a, to clean her hooves real quick. Hold on. Oh, wow, man. that's horrible. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, this is bad. After that weekend, I told my friend that I appreciated the help, but that it was best if my significant other just helped me move the next weekend. He and I had a lot to work to figure out where we were going. She agreed. I mean, hey, are you not like end the relationship? Yeah, yeah. Why are you still doing this? Yeah, you don't that's deserve this. Question. Yeah, this is ugh. as soon as he found out she wasn't coming, he suddenly couldn't afford to come anymore. He's got Where's horses. All that horse money coming. He's got from? horses. Yeah, horses are expensive. Horses are super expensive. Well, how much does it cost for a horse, Riley? I don't know. I've never had a horse. A few grand, I think. I th horses I'd are very like, expensive. What, like and also, one to four. I'm one saying to three ten grand. grand. Ten grand. I'm saying one to three grand for like, average for cost. like a race horse. Average cost three grand. That's an expensive. But is that is that race quality? Yeah, a, ra a race horse. Racing and competition is different. A competition yeah, yeah, yeah. horse. How much is a, a competition horse? But also, like you have to take into account that you're usually paying for like ten million. Hey, John. <laughs> oh, well. Stop. You are, you're also paying for like this is for like the Kentucky Derby. Okay. <laughs> housing the horse and stuff. Yeah. Which is also pretty expensive. Oh, yeah. And also having enough room for like a horse to run around and stuff. Jumping horse. Had a show jumping horse. Yeah. Competitive horses, 10,000 and up. Get which it seems wrecked. like they're doing competitions. I feel like, I feel like they're a hobby horse. How much I'm, does a horse cost? All of our horse people. Dude, I said one to three grand. And what's and that, the maintenance on a horse? A lot. Yeah. I do know. I th I'm pretty sure it's a lot. Yeah. Like, like Sophia said, stable rent, cleaning, food. Yeah. They probably eat a lot of food. Oh, yeah. 387 oh. a month. Dude, that's like an apartment. 300 to 700 a month. Yeah, Dude. it's a yeah. horse apartment. I better I better have a bedroom in that stable. <laughs> 
I'm sleeping under the horse. Come on, dude. Yeah, she made I a love dog. I do too. I love picking up my 100 pound dog. When I was 16, I was holding such a dog and the dog jumped and jammed and hit my chin with oh. its cute little butt and scurried off. And I was like, mom, my jaw really hurts. Yeah. And she was like, why are you being a whiny little bitch? Oh. So I went to the doctors, got x-rays and everything was fine. Oh, okay. But then a few weeks later, still hurting. I go in again and they were like, oh, the x-rays you got last time, blurry. Let's Let's do a new set of x-rays. We do those new set of x-rays. I broke my jaw. Well, that sucks a lot, Sam. But, you know, we can help people avoid your fate. And you know how? ZocDoc. ZocDoc is the only free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with top-rated and reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance. Are located near you. And treat almost any condition you're searching for. And supporting them helps you, boys. So. Go to ZocDoc.com slash OKOP and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. ZocDoc.com slash OKOP. She made a point of being busy as well as soon as I asked her not to come. I ended up moving my house entirely on my own over three days using my mom's truck when I was supposed to have help, including large wooden furniture and large animals the that she was moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. Wow. My significant other won't even answer my texts during the entire weekend, much less calls. At the end, I had to break up with him over text or rather confirm that we were separated since he wouldn't talk to me. He was dating my friend by the next week. Oh. Three months later. They wow. were it was engaged. No. They were oh, engaged. This guy is like manipulating everyone. Oh. He's a mat like. Does that make it better or worse? Worse. <laughs> One, he's man he tried to manipulate OP into thinking that nothing was happening. Oh no! And it, obviously, he's terrible. I'm like, but I'm wondering, like, if they get married after, is it like at least it was true love? We've said before it that wasn't it's true like true love. He was manipulating a 19 year old. Yeah, if it's like if they stay in the relationship, at least it wasn't all for nothing. But this is like a weird situation. And also, the thing is, they could have just simply stayed together. Yeah, getting engaged is a whole other ballpark. Like this is no, yeah. that's like a Aaron Taylor Johnson. Who's that Aaron Taylor, the actor, kick ass. What about him? He is in a relationship. He met his now wife right there when he was like 17. And I think there's how old is his wife? I, oh, his a wife lot old. older, a lot older. And they have a couple, they met when he was 17 and they're still obviously married, but yeah. And how old is his wife? Look, Dang. It, look it up. Some, what? Sorry. I, how, how 17 old is, is like illegal. Yeah, but they weren't technically dating. So and he's 5'11. He's 33. And then she went, so when he, he was, was 18, 18 and she was 42. But they met, I believe, well, maybe, okay. I heard that they met when he was 17. Maybe, I po mean, possibly. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's why, and yeah. now they're married 18 to 40. Yeah, which wow. is insane. Yeah. Yep, 12 years later. Wow. I mean, at least they're still together. No, <laughs> no. That's worse. <gasps> wow. It's worse because he like I insane. feel like when you're with someone like at that age, that's just manipulation. That's like his not mom. good. That's yeah, yeah that's, that's not okay. That's old, dude. That's old. That's weird. It's weird. That's when weird. You, yeah, with an 18 year old. Why are you interested in an 18 year old? That's a child. I mean, but again, as Riley said, like consenting adults. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Consenting adults, Riley, 2024. <laughs> no. Man. I think oh. 18 is. I'm pretty sure Riley was saying like I support Leonardo DiCaprio and his dating choices yuck. earlier for that. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> when would have that ever come up in a conversation? <laughs> Riley's like, stop. Stop, sir. Nah. It's, 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 so, it's weird, so what so the rule what is is half your age plus seven? I think something like that. Yeah. yeah. Whatever that rule is. Yeah, yeah that, that, yeah. that rule. Because that, that rule is definitely not forty two and eighteen. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Or or thirty one and, and nineteen. I just think under twenty five like there's a big age gap. If you're under twenty five if like they're under 25. That's just yeah. Uh, 23. 23 is like. Would you date a 40 year old, Riley? Is she bad? Yeah. <laughs> Riley's like, hell yeah. But I think 18 is just like, that's. Okay. I would date a 40 year old if she was a Malibu Cougar and we could go on that bachelor's trip I was talking about. Oh, in a recent right. episode. Dude, that's like a thousand dollars. That's like not even, or maybe two, two or three grand. It's not much. Well, she, <laughs> what, what are it's you, not expensive. What are you, Richie Rich Pants? <laughs> no, dude. Got that, got that Riley's, Riley's bachelor party, playing basketball, and going uh, to national parks. Going to yeah, national parks. Is, it would all be free. It's a, it's a very beautiful and cost effective trip. Yeah. That'd be pretty 
expensive. And it's even like, more cost it's effective. Good. It's, it's a good. couple you have Malibu, to buy those Cougar wife to get to national it. parks. You need a, like a national no, park pass. I got a pass. Oh. He's got a pass already. <laughs> a pass. So she would need to fly my friends out. Yeah. yeah. That's true. He has to fly his friends out. That's true. That's true. We're going to go to Vegas. Maybe Fair drop enough. a couple uh, grand. Fair enough. The point is this guy is 30 year old guy is grooming the horses and grooming the 19 year old. Whoa. That. Hey, wow. Sophia really. All right. She called it like she sees it. There's a moment if you go back in the video where you see me think of that. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze frame on her face. Hmm. But I would love to know what you think. Do you think this relationship is good? <laughs> and if you have been in or seen a similar scenario yeah. before. And it, like, have you ever, like when you were like 18, 19, did you ever date older for, uh, I would love to hear your, your stories, stories and reasons. Speaking of stories, I do have a okay story time. Time yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. us all, real quick. So. I have an okay fact. Just that okay r- fact. Really quick. Wait, wait. Yeah. But he had a story time first. Can it's you okay. Your, it's can a quick fact. It? It's a quick fact. It's a quick fact. Just most of like my my girlfriends that are like fr- friends that are girls have dated like forty year old dudes when they've been in college. Yeah, it's a really what? common. It's a really yeah. common thing because I I don't know. It's just older guys are weird <laughs> and they like I don't know. There's like a par- par- I just don't love it. Yeah, but it is a thing. It is a thing that it's a big thing. I mean, they were also in to it as well. Yeah, I know because it's it's when you're younger, it's totally different. You're like, oh, well, this older man or this older yeah. person is taking an interest with me. Yeah. But it's not on the younger person. I think person. it's kind of... It's not on the kinda, younger person. I always thought it was kind of weird, but it, it does happen a lot and I don't want to shit on their relationships, but... I think they can be... Go- like, they can turn out well, but... How were their relationships with their fathers? <laughs> those women? <laughs> <laughs> were there really... I don't know. I don't I'm not know. sure. I think it is on the old person, the older person in the relationship to not be doing that. Yes, because they're taking advantage of them. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because they know better. They know better. They know better. They're at a way different part of their life. Yeah, I just, I I can't imagine dating someone even in college. In college. Crazy. Like, I'm just like, you have to go to class. Yeah. You're you're busy. It is such an insanely (laughs) different life experience. Just being like 25 and 18 is two different worlds. Two different worlds. Yeah. Completely different worlds. I wouldn't even want to date someone who was in grad school. Well, um, yeah, you would. Yeah, people you would. are older school. One. I know. Oh, you'd be like, you but have, you have, you have you're a rigorous schedule. You're, 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 you have a different life. Yeah, I suppose. Fair enough. Sorry, grad school ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Same, same's out on you. But I do have an okay story time for yeah. you. Yes. Um, so this was relating to the ghosting, uh, I guess of both. It kind of kind of ties into both. So basically, this was a friend of a friend, essentially. And she was dating this guy and just all these crazy excuses. The most classic one was one day he came in on a Sunday. He would never like spend the night over or like anything like yeah. that. He would only hang out on weekends with her. One day he came in on a Sunday like late and he was covered in glitter and she was like, oh, why are you covered in glitter? No He's way. like, oh, I was at Sunday school with my mom helping the kids do like arts and crafts. Bullshit. No. Strip club. Strip, Strip club. club. Strip yep. club for sure. For sure. So he ends up like just, I can't remember what caused it, but just ghosts, leaves, blocks her so she can't like see a social profile like from her profile all all these different things. And then she was kind of worried about him. He had had some, or at least he had told her he had had some, you know, mental health issues and things of that nature. So this person goes and sleuths and finds his sister. And he's like, I mean, she'd obviously never contacted her before. She's like, Hey, I, you know, was dating this guy for a year and you know, he just kind of disappeared. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. And then she's like, he's uh, been married for five years and has a child. Shock. Yeah. So that's so why. So was he at the strip club or was he actually making glitter stuff with his child? No, he was almost certainly at the strip club. Okay. <laughs> and he literally like, I mean, he made good money, but he, like it seems that he, because he would, his way of appeasing her would be like, oh, let me pay for your nails this weekend. Oh, let me help you with your rent. Oh, do you need a new TV? Like, and John and I did our nails. That ain't cheap. It is not. Oh, it is not cheap. It and we're talking weekly, cheap. weekly new nails. Like, and so anytime she'd be like, hey, she, but she was just like, just like spend one. One night with me, but he never did it because his name was married. Mm. Yikes. Yikes. So, Yikes. And he ghosted her and then she, you know, did the research. Did she expose him? I don't think so. I think she just left it. 
Mm. Mm. I think you just left it. Would you expose? I mean, I, it depends on if I could get in contact with. You could. You could. You f you found their Instagram. I might be like, hey, I just wanted to let you know. Mm. Would you Michael Scott it? Yeah. I don't know the reference. Tell uh, Andy that Angela and Dwight are cheating on each other. The whole office is like, no, you shouldn't tell. You shouldn't tell. You shouldn't tell. It should come from Angela. And then Michael's like, no, he needs to know. No, 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 no. Coming whenever Michael was dating that one chick that was having an affair. Oh, I was yeah. thinking about. Because well, that's the more similar situation. Well, in this situation, Michael was the one that pulled. Told Andy that they were having an affair. So it's similar. That, it, that is true, but like, but in that situation, well, my, I would I go think. first to the person who was having an affair and be like, "Hey, you should tell." But Michael he didn't to say me. anything. He didn't the, say anything. He should yeah. have. But like, you could have because he was the one that was participating in yeah. the affair, and he could have went and like came clean, but he didn't. Yeah. Okay. I think if you're participating <laughs> in the affair, then you it is on it is your duty to tell the person, the wife, or partner you should expose yourself yeah. basically yeah you should expose yourself if yeah. you didn't know if you didn't know yes yeah. Uh, yeah, and absolutely. also if you didn't know then expose it later either way Shouldn't either do way it. but you know what i want to expose what this next caller let's do it <laughs> so am i the asshole for leaving my four-year relationship with my fiance, well, ex fiance now, and um, uh, started dating and staying with my friend with benefits. Immediately? Well, that's let's, the question. So, long story short, my ex and I were in a poly open relationship and he was okay. Yikes. You never want to hear just you're okay. He was okay. OP. We were both okay with each other seeing somebody else as long as we stayed protected and we knew the person and we didn't bring them home. Well, the friends with benefits, now my boyfriend and father to my two kids with one of the way, well, we ended up getting pregnant with our daughter and the ex gave an ultimatum of either you put the kid up for adoption and we can work on a relationship and do do couples counseling slash separate counseling single or you and I are done. That's whoa. I chose yeah. to be done. Yeah. 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 Because if you're going to be this way, even though a couple of years before you stated that we could, if I had any children with anyone by accident or you do yours in your relationship. So but basically it goes both yeah. ways. Yeah. Basically, if anyone's yeah. Get accidentally pregnant, it's then fine. we're yeah. understanding that uh, risk going in. Yeah. You said you'd still stay with me and we end up raising the kid together. Now you had to pull this shit. Yeah, we're done. So is OP the a-hole for leaving the four-year relationship? I don't think so. No, no, and I think this is what I'm understanding, and maybe... And we're going to call them in yeah. a sec. Yeah. We're going to call details. them and ask, and, and so maybe this is, is a question for that, but it sounds like, so OP was with the the now ex. Yes. But she was seeing a guy that she had already had a kid with prior, yeah. and then yes. they had a second kid together. No, 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 no. So the... I think they currently have children, but this was in the past. So this was before they didn't have any kids before. Yeah, I don't think. Benefits. Yeah, I think this was this in the past. was the first. The, the, this was them getting. This was like the having first. a child for the first time. So yes. her and her ex have a kid together. Is that no? Right? They don't have any no. kids. So okay, there's okay. The, okay. So, so there's, there's the, the ex fiance, fiance, and then there's the friends with benefits. Yes. yes. The friends with benefits is now the husband. Yes. Because she was they are married. They're together. They they're together. The they're partner. Yes. They're now boyfriend. So the friends yes. with benefits is now the boyfriend. Right. Yes. Gotcha. And she ditched the ex fiance because she's like because they. If ex fiance is like, hey, you have to adopt or get rid of your, get rid of your, your child, child with your, child for adoption. With Which is your wild, friends with benefits. That's wild crazy. thing to say. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you had that stipulation. Yeah. You were like, hey, that's fine. The fact that it was communicated before. Yeah. Sure. If either of us Even accidentally has everything. a kid, yeah. we raise it. Yeah. yeah. But I think we need to find out some more details. Like what, like what I feel like something I need to know is how did they establish the bounds of their poly relationship, yeah. which yeah. is what I'm always curious about, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. how you, how you set strong bounds. And also, how are things going in the new relationship? Yeah. And also, was there any fallout from the ex-fiance after leaving? Sounds them? possible, mm -hmm. given his ultimatum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think we need to call this person from the OK fam. Yeah. Let's check it out. Hey, this is Sam from OKOP. This is Sophia. And John. What's up? Hi, Sam. Hello. <laughs> how, how you doing? How you doing? Good. We're good. How about you? Oh, not too bad. And uh, funny thing, you are calling, and I was literally just watching some old recap of uh, my OKOP show video. No. Wow. Wow. That is so <laughs> crazy. Wow. A true dedicated yeah. fan. Yeah. Oh, just my God. Dick of dick of yeah, Riley is here, too. Yeah. Riley, say hi. How are you doing, man? Dude, I'm doing great. 
How are you? Oh, not too bad. <laughs> Beautiful. So we just were listening to your voicemail, and we okay. were, we had questions. Sophia, do you want to hit her the first one? Oh, I, no. You, <laughs> I, I remember the first question. I'm coughing right now. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Sorry. God. Sam is sorry. Sam yeah. is dying in a, in a coughing fit. Um, <laughs> but like, I need a cough drop. Um, so we <laughs> so sorry. We were yeah. So sorry. Uh, it's it's a chaos right now. But um, we wanted to know. Um, you know, you've probably seen, I mean, you're a fan of the show. We've had uh, a few stories before come up talking about polyamorous relationships and it's like, Hey, how do you set the boundaries? What does that look like? So we were curious, like, how did you go about like having those conversations and like setting those boundaries in your relationship? So about a year and a half to two years into the relationship, we were, on a drive and we um, both looked up recently before what the difference between the monogamy and poly were and um, we both chose and we chose to do poly be as long as we were talking mm. Uh, mm. well talking <clears throat> meaning like we were um, uh, open with who we were seeing that right. we knew the person as a way like my other person that I was with at the time which is now my boyfriend we were co-workers we um, had known each other for a little bit. He's um, uh, he knew him for a little bit too, as he's seen him at work. And I just and I told him about how he was, and he had a couple girls that he had seen, as we were both also bisexual too, but uh, um, girls and a couple guys. And um, but he never got to where he wanted to have full-on intimate relationship with them. I'm like, um, uh, he didn't care that I did as long as we were both protected. Right, right. And, or um, uh, plan B, if it happened, like it broke in one night. Right, <laughs> right. So was it talked about if there was risk of pregnancy, like what what you guys would do? Yeah, there, there was talk about that, like if per se it broke or whatnot, day after or two days later, get the um, plan B or um, uh, talk about like, hey, if it were to happen, um, we might end up either A, because one thing that was never on the table was termination. It was either A, put up for adoption, or B, C, if the father of the child, if it wasn't him, would be would be open to taking in the child, or we would figure out a way to do a co-parenting. So, like, when you found out you were pregnant, when you found out you were pregnant, like, what, what, uh, what was the conversation like? Oh, he basically completely forgot all about those talks and shit and basically almost blew up on me mm. and uh, gave an everyone loves ultimatums right sam yeah oh yeah, yeah. ultimatums are a healthy Insane. way to start the relationship and continue <laughs> it oh yeah ended up giving an ultimatum either him either um i stay with him and we do the couples and separate counseling and I give either give the child up for adoption or give the child to the father once they once um yeah. they, my almost one year old daughter she'll be a year this month up for um give her to the father or B I keep the child and we're done. Was it an easy decision to make? Four years together all together about almost two roughly almost two years engaged. Wow. Congrats. Yeah. All because of that is how that relationship went. Yeah. And now one year with my was other partner, now my boyfriend during that relationship. Incredible. Is this relationship with your boyfriend Polly too? No. Um we We've talked with this one to where we were only us, and I'm actually okay with that because it have him and my daughter and my son on the way because we got one on the way now too. Congratulations! Yeah. Or and choose to stay happy in that or throw all that away because of a poly relationship it's like no and i'm blessed with what i have because it's an amazing relationship so it sounds like for you like when you when now that it's like you have a family you have children with this uh with with, with your partner it's like hey we don't want to continue a polyamorous relationship anymore because is it just so complicated it sounds complicated yeah, it sounds is like it just, a lot to keep track it, of yeah like is it just hard is a poly relationship just like hard to manage in general or is it just because of your partner your previous partner that was hard to manage it was very complicated due to the previous part right. because yeah. 
once he started seeing that another guy and also a female that I talked to um, at times here and there, which I still talk to her, and, and my boyfriend's okay with that because, hey, it's a girl. I know you're bisexual, if anything, and if you were to do bring home a girl, that's okay, but no guys. <laughs> But with him on that, he, once he started seeing that I was happy with another person on a guy, too, he started to get very jealous and started to get severely toxic about it. Mm, Right. And and it sounded like you two had both, like, set parameters in the relationship that, for instance, if there was a pregnancy on either side, you two would both be down to, like, raise the kid. But as soon as you realize, oh, I have a pregnancy, that's when he completely changed and basically went completely against the arrangements and boundaries you had set beforehand right completely went yeah. out the window yeah and it yeah. sounds like he was already like getting jealous beforehand and that was like that was just the thing that probably set him off completely yeah once he started to show that and start immediately and basically after he threw the ultimatum also and it, literally every single day basically to every other day before i went on uh, my little week to uh, vacate back home to go see my mom and dad which is which is like five hours away yeah. went to go see them up until that day he was kept asking the same question so have you made your decision yet are you going to keep it or are you going to yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah give her give the baby to your other partner and i kept saying no because yeah. i already knew even at even at like seven weeks into the pregnancy that i was going to keep her and I'm very happy that I did. Yeah. yeah. Well, good for you. And it sounds like it sounds like the uh, your 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 family is is now like super happy and things are going well. So I'm glad it all worked out. I do have a somewhat unrelated question for you, though. What's that? So when you were talking about the people that you brought home, you mentioned you brought home a female. And I'm curious, what is your relationship with the word female? Because my sister oh. says I should. <laughs> she's, been tell- she's been telling all the boys in the house that we sh- you shouldn't use the word female. You should say. Riley specifically. Riley speci- she's been calling <laughs> Riley out saying Riley can't say the word female. She- he should say woman instead because she's. He says he sounds like an incel when he uses the word female. So <laughs> curious what your thoughts on that are. And Sophia, do you have any defense? Well, I, I will hear this off the thought. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I use female. Other times I use girlfriend because sometimes when you hear the word girlfriend, you end up um, people are like, oh, wait, so you have a girlfriend and a boyfriend? And right. you're like, I'm going to go hang out with a girlfriend, your female friend, or your woman friend. I've mm-hmm. always used the word girlfriend, um, even when I was um, uh, in high school. Yeah. So you do you think the word female is fine? Um, yeah, I think the word female is fine, depending on the <laughs> context you're using. You know, like, yeah. Unless you don't know that that should be, if it's, someone who prefers other pronouns um otherwise i say female or girlfriend because some people even if they are a woman don't are non-binary or whatnot so it's like instead of like that it's like first hey what are your pronouns do you right, care if i right. call you female or or girlfriend or my girlfriend <laughs> Because I've known this one chick for so long to where literally we started, ended up just being girlfriends. And then it's like, and now we're like, wait, are we just going to keep saying girlfriend? Are we actually girlfriends? It's like, and it's like, dude, we've known each other for so long. We are girlfriends. (laughs) Riley's asking if he can say chick. I don't see a problem in it. All right, Riley. (laughs) Can I say bird? (laughs) What What is this? The 50s? (laughs) Riley's asking if he can say bird. Why would you want to say bird unless your co- context is towards the actual creature? Yeah, <laughs> there we go. You. It seems like the line stops. Yeah, yeah, you can't say there. bird, Riley. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for answering our call and telling us your story. We really appreciate it. And if you wanted to throw my name out in the show too, my name is Missy Sam. <laughs> what is it, Missy? Misty, yeah. Mitzi. Mitzi. Oh, Misty. Miss M I S T Y. Misty. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 
Okay, yes. Misty. Okay. Yeah. Well, Misty, thank you so much for calling in. We really appreciate it. Have a good night, guys. Have a good yeah, night. You too. Good night. See ya. Bye. Well, I mean, we got to the bottom of the uh, of, of of the feed. We've been debating <laughs> this in the house it's not for a days. <laughs> Sophia has been. Sophia has oh. been destroying Riley's soul. I tr- I th- a person. I think Misty was saying more. It was like female friend. Yeah, yeah. Talking no, about she female, said female girlfriend. She said female. Okay. I okay. think I agree with Sophia. I think she was more talking about yeah. the context of like yeah. t- saying like a friend who Y'all is a woman. Can but say no, but when you she want, when I'm she ta- when she was sa- talking, also, she said a monolith. I, I was well, I know, but this is one data point. Okay, it's one against one, <laughs> Sophia. Okay, <laughs> she did say I brought home a female, not a female friend. Mm, okay, the story. So that's I, why I brought it up. Sure. <laughs> She I, also does listen to uh, Reddit stores. That, like is, true. that is true. Yeah. That is true. That is true. She's like female. I would actually 24. love to know from everyone what <laughs> vibe do you get? This is for Riley. What vibe do you get when a guy says female? Is it in Sally or do you even think anything of it? I personally don't like when men say female. I, I have an okay story time. When I was at uh, the brother school to my high school, mm-hmm. I remember Crespi. we had yeah Crespi. Yeah. We had a uh, like like the switch day where you go to Crespi. Yeah. But anyway you like go to the, the brother school and they have like fun activities and stuff. And I remember that like the coach was like, okay, men line up. Okay. Females line up. And like, that sounds so weird. <laughs> no, like he's like, okay, men let's, you know, and he's like, oh, John, ben, Matt, you know, he's naming all of them. And he's like, okay, female next female. I think it sounds weird. Yeah, I think I, yeah. weird. I wonder if you ever told, they heard me say female. I don't hear you say female. Yeah. yeah Cause I'm because not, I tell incel. you not to, <laughs> <laughs> I trained you. I <laughs> you trained you. Yeah. Damn. I um, am. I'm secretly implanted in your brain and never I say female. So, it's one time Sophia, uh, she was telling me a fact. And I'm like, wait, there's no way that's real. And then I looked up the fact and it turns out it was like, it was fake. And then she's like, that's right. I have been telling you <laughs> fake facts for years. Yeah. So you question your reality and you don't know what's like true that. or false. I, I, I don't that. think I said it like that's that. That's exactly what you said. And no. so Sophia <laughs> has been manipulating me behind the scenes. <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> like, I, I just like, I just like saying like sometimes this is kind of something crazy but like sometimes it's like fun to like make up a fact whoa 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 you told me a fact yesterday what no that was true <laughs> what's true what's real it was about what's hot real chocolate. what's real no, no, what hot, is reality it was and about hot chocolate not. and hot uh. chocolate is actually healthy if you get like good cocoa powder that is true is sophia distorting my world put your yeah. answers in the comments <laughs> below <laughs> Um, you're distorting mine. <laughs> if you love us, make sure to subscribe. We, we love, love you and see you tomorrow. tomorrow.